Good morning, everybody. Day six is upon us. I'm using the microphone right now because it's uh, kind of windy and a little bit chilly. And I'm not wearing my coat today, so I don't know. I just felt warm when I was leaving the apartment, and now I regret it, so maybe I'll go back. But we're going another one hour out of Tokyo to start the day off. And maybe, maybe, maybe we'll find some good stuff. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the amount of Yu-Gi-Oh I have. Spent around 1.3 million yen on Yu-Gi-Oh. Around 700, 800k on Pokemon, but not enough has been spent on buying stuff to sell for my raw card store. Mainly just for grading. So today's focus will be raw cards. Just to sell plate conditions, stuff, nothing too fancy. You know, it pays the bills, but I'm looking forward to today, you know. And I'm getting better at talking into the camera, I think. A little bit better. There's so many people around here staring at me, but I'm just getting better in general. So I thank all the... I thank all of the practice I've had at home, doing the YouTube channel and stuff. And in saying that, I wouldn't even be able to do any of this. Or even think of doing anything without the channel. So thanks to all the people out there who are watching. It gives it all the purpose, I guess. And all the kind messages I've got on Instagram the last few days. Thanks for all those. It feels... um. I'll just say it feels nice, nothing else I can really say. I don't do it for the nice comments, but if they happen, they happen. So, well, let's try and spend some money today. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, first store of the day is called Full Comp near Tachikawa Station. It's a JR railway line. And we went here, they said no photos, no nothing. So I'm just gonna show the front of the door to not be sus or anything. Pretty good store, to be honest. I think out of all the full comps, probably the best, right? You wanna take the stairs? Let's just take the stairs. Get the legs warmed up. It's a little bit cold today. Didn't bring my jacket, whatever reason. I'm <laughs> stupid, but it's raining and oh, I'm hungry even though I just had breakfast. So, um, yeah, full comp in Tachikawa, uh, I'd say probably like seven out of ten. Every card that they had that was said to be good condition was actually like PSA 9 slash 10. So, I'm happy. I spent 20,000 yen there. And I'm going to go to the next door and maybe we can double it and give it to the next guy. So this is a beautiful place. Just look at this. Just absolutely stunning. Building in construction, import brand shops, person with an umbrella, normal Japanese at a rainy day. So I'll see you guys soon and wish me luck. Store number two, we struck out. We're looking for a diamond in the rough today. That is for sure. Uh, we're in some random place an hour out of Tokyo. And it's slim picking, so maybe we might pick up towards. Maybe the next one will be holy grails upon holy grails. Surely. Surely holy grails. <laughs> okay, this is uh, really sad, but we come across a really, really good store. But they said, can't film, can't go inside, you know, no pictures of the showcase or anything. Perfectly fine, but it is in the same area as I previously am. I forgot the area's name, but the card is, shop is called Trading Card Game Shop Amenity Dream. I hope my uh, voice isn't too echoey in here, but I just want to, maybe I can film from the outside of it, but it is like, it is incredible, this store. It, it is so large and they have a lot of cards, but no filming inside. They also have like boxes and packs of every set, for every card game. Except the one set that we want. Except the one set that we want. But the it's funniest so thing long. about this store, it is huge. Probably, it's probably one of the biggest stores I've been to, right? Like standalone card shops. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's big and it's cash only. And they have like millions of dollars of stuff for sale. And it's cash only. Like what is up with this cash only stuff? Surely they have to pay the suppliers in like electronic currency, right? Surely they can't just pay everyone in cash and get the cash. And it might be a small liability from it. It's building. just insane. So. Here we go. It is called this. Trading card oh. shop, amenity oh. dream. Oh. NAC oh. building. Susan, sorry, thank you so much. Did you leave your credit card? I love my credit card. You left your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> he ran up the stairs. Thank you. I got to go that much. That was crazy. Uh, Good thing we're filming. You belong here, Wes, because you're leaving your credit card. You belong that in the child crazy. paradise. He could have went on a spending spree. That was really Not funny. much, but. <laughs> Could have went on a little bit of a spree. <laughs> All right, into the rain, into the humble and bustle of Japan, to the next door. Pretty much ready to go to. We got one more store. 
one more store okay and then we head to the one store we actually want to go today we want to go to a store called end all games they don't even open until two but they don't open until 2 p.m do you know how annoying that is they're one hour out of tokyo and they don't open until 2 p.m it's actually really annoying because you have to travel there and then if you want to go back to tokyo to buy some more cards well it's not really possible because it's like four five six p.m but it's all right also this area i don't think they see foreigners that much if ever so had a few weird looks had a guy telling us we couldn't eat on a seat he was very unimpressed we sat down to eat somewhere and that was a really bad idea for us to eat there so it's fine we're trying we're doing our best doing our best we are in i don't even know the suburb we're in we're another we're another store called uh card shop pao so similar to the one in chiba but this one is the one near where i currently am let me let me just go to my phone real quick now it's going to get loud because this place is busy like actually busy let me just get my, my phone up real quick pull up the maps i want to double check but like if i turn this around they have a game section and then they have a card section and then they have a playing section and they have everything okay so i'm at tachikawa tachikawa again so let me just walk around a little bit and let me just highlight this card shop PAO. So yeah, I might not even put this in the video if, if the audio is crap. You know, my microphone, I don't know where it is. I think it's at the bottom of my bag. So they have a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament going on right now. And it is just absolutely crazy how many, how big this place is for a card store. Well, this place sells random stuff. What do they have? Xbox games, PS4 games. That's cool. That's not Power Shop, but this is this is Card Shop Power. There's so many, so many awesome things, and then they even have like some sort of finalist jewel area. If I show you right here, you can see it just on the just on the top here. They have like a finalist jewel with like two leather chairs, but they all stand like above the playing area. It's actually insane. So let's uh, we can go into this card shop real quick, and it is just absolutely cracked like is this the it's the pokemon section so i can show a few prices this is the damaged alt arts so umbreon v fifteen thousand, giratina seven thousand. west spent around a hundred thousand yen on pokemon and i got a hundred thousand of Yu-Gi-Oh. i'm not really interested in buying any any uh modern pokemon so they just have modern everything so you know prices don't really matter on most of the stuff it's like a thousand yen but they just have Are any other case you see where they had like something of substance west or is, the case? is this the vintage case no for, for you oh uh, no i will in a sec I, only, just the, I just walked in on this one like your okay bad, bad, yeah. condition, bad condition so forty thousand yen sylveon forty thousand yen gardevoir i'm touching the thing what was that oh right kaza shiny eighty thousand Reshiram 40. I can't see the other ones. 20. I mean, there's just cards everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're just yelling. It's a very high energy place. It's actually not that bad. So 20,000 yen. Did you check these Mega Tokyos or you didn't even try? Uh, 20 is a lot for players. 20. Oh, you know Club Pikachu 30,000. We're in different times, West. Uh, Everything's expensive. Yeah. Everything's expensive, but nothing sells. Isn't that funny? Exactly. And we're all on credit debt. So soon enough, just like the housing crisis, everything will fall apart. Uh, let me just show a little bit of the Yu-Gi-Oh section. I checked a lot of their Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't want to get in the way of this guy. But you see how this here was all filled with cards, but I grabbed all one side and then they condensed it. And then every single little hole, some of those I bought. So I bought one damaged card that was actually still PSA 10. So low-key kind of scam. Oh yeah, I also grabbed all those sealed packs right there. And those two. Look, I create holes. I'm a hole filler. I have rush no. jewel, which is cool. Yeah, I, I bought like four or five rush jewel cards. But yeah, this store is not too bad. Some full art trainers in the back here. Any of note, West? Uh, not really, eh? Uh, it's all damaged stuff, but. Yeah, it's hard to say without checking what condition it is. 5,000 yen for a Lysander. I mean, if it's like a seven or eight, that's not bad for a binder. It's not, especially if that's first edition, because I mean, Unlimited's rare. But unlimited blame. First edition is way cooler. So, this is other card games Dragon Ball, Rush Jewel, Yu Gi Oh! Everything. And then they have this thing over here. You see, they have like a place to do like 
online tournament, like 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 yeah, console like tournament. Yeah, like console tournament place. Is that Kingdom Hearts on the screen there? I think so. I have no idea. We've got Switch. I think this is some sort of lottery thing. I haven't seen a card store be combined with a game store before, so it's really loud in here, so I'm sure my audio is going to get destroyed, but what the hell? It's American Mario. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. All right. Let's, uh, down here, I think. Let's get out of here. So we're, so we're going to Endor Games now? Yeah, going to Endor. Endor it's Games. so out of the way. It's so far away. And it's 2 o'clock now, so we're not even going to get there at 2 o'clock. We're going to get there at like 3 o'clock. And then if it's trash, we just wasted like half a day. And if you think about it, that's like $250 wasted because we're spending almost $200 a day to live here. So, ah well. What can you do? But if it is trash, that also means money saved. So uh, money saved might actually be pretty good. Because, but hopefully they have some nice played Pokemon cards for me. If they don't, I'm gonna cry. So I'll see you guys then, and hopefully they let me film. Hopefully they let me look at some rare stuff. I will see you soon. Hello everyone, I am in Tachikawa again, and I am in a building called Park Avenue. Now remember these, as this was a little bit of a hidden gem. Now these stores aren't hidden, I am in a Sarugia. So I'm gonna show you the logo of a Sarugia. You're gonna be able to see what it looks like. If you ever see this, this is a Sarugia with that cat, okay? And they have Pokemon cards, and they have Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and they have, they have books with lots of naked lady images as well, if you're into that. Cartoon ladies. I thought I'd just throw that in there. So this is the Pokemon Modern Selection. <laughs> Some energy cards, but this stuff is just whatever. I mean, it's just modern Pokemon. Nothing special. Just, you know. Oh, 17,000 yen for the secret rare Charizard. SL. It's actually someone. Yeah. SL? We, got, we paid 15. So it's not that much more. Chill out, dog. Chill out. Sorry, Bezos. Better than other stores. Better than card rushes, for sure. Anyway, what was I talking about? So this section is a bit of modern Pokemon. You go to the left of the store. Actually, let's walk down this aisle. Because some things that are piqued, piqued interest. If you can see what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here, but there's lots of stuff there. So if you like that kind of stuff, that might be good for you. So this is all PlayStation 2. And this is all... It's just all everything, really. Uh, was it Super Famicom? And then they have Vox Super Famicom. And then they have... I don't think this is sealed, per se, but this is just in-box. Complete in-box games. Uh, they have Pokemon Red, Pokemon Green, Pokemon Crystal. But that is not what we're here for. We're here for played Pokemon cards. Or maybe even mint condition Pokemon cards, if they have them. So... Okay. West is gonna check some cards. What have we got here? We got we have oh let me just show the cases. So all this is Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon. What are these new jumbo cards? I've never even seen those. They're huge. So they have this DP file, anniversary, movie pack, premium collection, ten thousand yen each, a bunch of master balls. And then they have so many E-Series cards. Oh, I'm going to check some of these cards. What's this? Oh, they have Trainer Mag, Slow King. Domino, Slow Poke. I'm just, I'm trying to look at the cards and talk at the same time. Oh, they got Morty's Gengar, 10,000 yen. Expedition Gengar. Expedition Rare Gengar. This is the most stock of a Pokemon I've ever seen 50% off, so you buy this, 19,000 yen Shining Mew, so I'm going to look at those as well. It's crazy, I mean, it's very hard for me to look at the cards, you know, and show them off at the same time, and talk to the people, and manage all that, but there is a lot, so it's all by type. Let's go over here, to this, you know, Dragonite's 27,000, they have a Karen's Umbreon, 23,000, I'm going to check that one, oh, the Secret Rare Pikachu, 11,000. And then they have 
Oh, there's just so many cards. You guys can see them. They have, you know, Lugia EX, 60,000, Umbreon EX, 55, Umbreon, 8,000. 70% off this Mewtwo, so you can get that for 8,000 or something, 70% off these ones. Now, I don't know why the... They're, this, they're damaged if they're percent off. That's what it is. This Reshiram is 90% off. Yeah, it's probably really good. Yeah, that's kind of funny. So, I guess how it works is, is this is the original price, 29,000, and then the percentage off is how damaged it is. But that doesn't make sense of like why this one wouldn't be discounted, because it's only 23,000. So, this one does look a bit damaged. You can see a little bit of a edge right in the bottom there. So, yeah. Oh, they have it, and they have a Karen Zombie on here. So they have. This isn't the actual card. They have a printout, 168,000 for a mint condition one. But I'm still happy to pay 20,000 for for a damaged one. It's actually very funny how they put all these printed out pictures here, because you can't actually see the card, but. They like stuff them in behind each other so even the printed pictures get a little bit damaged. <laughs> oh, what is going on? So they have, what is this? Base set, Charizard, Expedition, Mew. They've kindly, I already asked, and they said I'm. Something dropped and I thought it was me. Um, they said it's fine if I film and go up to the case and stuff, so. There's a lot going here. Some old school promos, 6,000 yen. Pokemon Fan Club, 5,000. A whole bunch of people just turned up, so I'm gonna get out of their way, let them do their things. VS Steelix, that's not too bad. 3,000 yen for a VS Holo. Reggie Steel Play. Umbreon's, 8,000. There you go, you can have a look at some of the prices yourself. Maybe you can see them, maybe you can't. I actually don't know what this footage is going to look like when I uh, when I check it all out. So, Claire's Dragonite and Lance's Dragonite and Normal Dragonite and Expedition Dragonite. They have every, they have every card. Maybe they might not have the best price, but they have every card. So if it has a sticker on it, it means the card's damaged. And if it doesn't, it means the card's not damaged. Which means we might be here for a while checking a few cards condition as I want to get these two for those prices I want to get oh, I want to get some other things but I'll think about that when I'm not recording because right now it's hard to think what else they have here they have a whole bunch of stuff um, oh maybe I can't show that on camera I'm gonna move the camera right from that that is just crazy they have like Pokemon cards and they have like just half naked girls down the thing. So, this is Dragon Ball cards. Um, some Weiss cards. There are other trading cards, plus a little bit of Yu Gi Oh! Some big figurines. Some big things on that figurine. So, yeah. Um, this is Surigya in this area. I already forgot the name. But there's a chance. We might be able to find some deals here. Shining Muse. Oh, Gift Box Giratina with 9% off. It might be in good condition. And yeah, wish me luck. Ancient Origins Gyarados. Rumble Gyarados. Clash Blue Sky. There's just a lot. Charizard. Some more Charizards. Yeah, it's not a bad price for the Expedition Charizard. That's actually really good. Some grass hollows. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start wasting my time. I'm gonna start checking Stormfront Charizard, Lance's Charizard, ten percent. They might actually be pretty good. Any other cards? I'll show a few more down the bottom here. Just non-hollow. Oh, they have Expedition Blastoise, Trainer Man Crocodile. All right, that's it. Yep, so this is. Uh, Sarugia, and I already forgot the name of the suburb, but I said it at the start, so good luck finding it. So it's time to buy some cards. Okay, we're still at Sarugia, and this is the Sarugia Hall. We got the Gold Star Mewtwo, Gold Star Pikachu, some Neophile Charizard, not bad. This is Tears, Trainer Mag, Yokohama Pikachu. 
Some good condition, some bad condition. Some of these are pretty gradable. These are gradable. These are going to sell raw. Not too bad. Pretty happy. This Arugia was good. Got some deals. West wasted some money. I wasted some money. Time to go to Endel Games. That was the plan of the day. Getting there a bit late. It's 2 o'clock now. It's wet as hell. My feet are wet. So it makes my feet cold. And I didn't bring my jacket. So it makes the top up of me cold. So almost everything except for my things in my underwear is cold. So let's hope I don't fall in a puddle because then everything will be cold. What, they, what exactly is going on there? In that statue over there. That was kind of bizarre. <laughs> what was that? Somebody tell me what that was. That was like a dude. That was like a dude with a. <laughs> it had a penis and breast, didn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure it did. That's crazy. Hell yeah. So do I. Okay. It's Endor Games. Okay, we were at the front of Endor Games and uh, it's pretty good. I mean, they have a pretty decent selection of a whole bunch of things. I, I feel like it wasn't exactly worth coming here because of how wet it is outside and my feet are wet from standing in puddles. But we are finally here. We are entering Endor Games. That's what they call it. So let me just point my camera down so there's no photos of people. So on this side, there is... Um, this is more playable stuff. And we got a, a damaged Phantom Forces Gengar right there. Some Eevee primers. So this is like damaged old star. As you can see, like a Will Zartu. Is that Will? Sabrina Zartu maybe? I think so. The reflection makes it hard. So just a bunch of random cards. And then some playables. Maybe some of the most recent set it looks like. Uh, I think this is the recent set. Maybe playables. Not too sure. Then they have a, you know, a bulk box section. Some lucky bags, some more bulk, some stickers, some pins, and they have a bit of sealed product over here. A lot more magic. I think Indoor Games is more of a magic thing. It's not really like a pure Pokemon store, but but you know, while I've got to know them over the years, is they sell a lot of Pokemon trophies. There's a lot of high level players in the area. So this is a uh, Magic the Gathering. And Yu-Gi-Oh, from what it looks like, a lucky bag. But I really want to check those three cards and buy them, because they look really nice. And then this is the Pokemon lucky bag. And we see here, West is checking some cards. He's checking a Charizard. I'm going to go down here, look at some of this stuff. They have a decent selection of Yu-Gi-Oh. Sorry, I'll get out of your way. Then they have some Dragon Ball cards, and then they have a whole bunch of uh, old back cards. Okay. Can't check them too much. This guy's behind me playing a game. They have no rarity Abras and no rarity Nidoran and all that other kind of stuff. So don't be too scared because this store has you know quite a big online card shop. You can sit down at this you know computer they got here. You can look at their online store. They have a lot more not listed for sale on their showcases. Everything they have pretty much goes online. They have some good cards too. Uh, I'm just scrolling through, you know, click on this. This isn't out here for sale, but it's a championship arena PSA 10 for 500,000 yen. I wouldn't really know. Let me try to do this. So this is their high to low. It doesn't have translate to English on this computer, obviously. Why would it have translate to English? But you see, they got like Snap Coffin currently in stock, some high end Yu Gi Oh cards, some mid to low end kind of stuff, and not too bad. If I was had more time, I'd be, you know, playing around on the computer and I'd be going through and checking, like, you know, the 2,000, 3,000 yen cards because they actually have some good cards that are listed only online. They're a little bit cumbersome to find, but like be a lot easier to find if you are you know, just buying. So Indoor Games, they've given me some of the best deals I've ever got in all of Pokemon for trophy cards. And you know, some you know three to four, five hundred thousand yen cards. So I'm pretty happy to come here and support them and give them a, a decent amount of time on the video. 
So that's Endor Games, and uh, I don't know if it's worth coming here physically in store, as I personally think that their best deals are online, but if you're in the area, you might as well have a look. So uh, this is Endor Games in Chiba. I think I'm in Chiba. Maybe I'm in Chiba? I don't know. Some will have to double check. I can't remember where I am. It's been a long day and it's really cold and my feet are cold. So I'm about to go meet up with Jay Love and we'll see what that's like. See what his energy is like. His energy is probably better than mine because I'm so tired. <sighs> I'll see you guys later. <sighs> Alright boys, probably the last car shop of the day. Endor was not too bad. We get caught in a rainstorm. The trains, we went and got some dinner. It's been taking, it's been out. It's, I'm, I'm done ski. But I think we have found pretty fucking good store like check this out check this out they have a thing that walks down so it just shows like this beautiful store with all these showcases and they have stuff in this store that i've never seen in person like me i've never seen them in person so let's go through it know, let's see try and uh, get out of people's way there's people coming behind me so i'm just gonna move out of the way because i don't want to be annoying or you know, I want them to be able to do their stuff. I don't want to get people's way around filming. So yeah, sorry. Let's check this out, ready? Now this isn't the stuff I've never seen before. We've got a Master Battle Set, 740,000 yen. That's a very, very attractive price. Some 25th anniversary collections. And some other random card game. I don't know what that is. Man, they, they, they probably need some more clothes on them. We've got the Lucario, V-Star Hyper Rare. They have Scream Mimikyu. Sealed folders. Also, check this guy out. Check this guy. Right there, you see him? That's okay, J Lo. It's a famous streamer. But we just, just met up with him. I just linked up with him. Over this side, I just have some random card games here and there. Not really too sure. It looks like an English card. They got a Shadowless Beedrill for 1800 yen. A Master Ball Canopy. So some Pokemon down the bottom here. This is just all random. I don't know what's going on. This is like the 2000 yen lottery maybe? Because I got a classic Venusaur, a bit of Groudon, EX Kyogre. Oh, this is... I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. It's part of their lottery system. Some PSA cards. Some pretty uh, average ones there. I'm not going to lie. Sneasel, Charizard, Chandler, Ultra Rare. Oh, Neo Charizard, 5400 yen. Okay. If this is actually purchasable, which I don't think it is, I'm pretty sure these are prizes for the Alipa, but check this one. We're not going to go to the crazy Pokemon stuff yet, because, oh, there's me, in the, there's me in the thing. How good is that? So, this cool new Jumbo card, I only started seeing it in the past few days. I don't know if it's brand new, but it's pretty sick. I'm going to go around this side. I'm just going to cut to the chase, all right? I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to go to the good stuff straight away. Not the bathrooms, not the bathrooms. I'm gonna cut to the really, really good stuff straight away. Look at this. It's 25th anniversary creatures deck. 10 million yen. That's around 70K US, 100,000 Australian. It is absolutely unreal. First edition Charizard German. I'm recording this one. I'm recording. Dude, look what at this. this? Can this? you buy that for me? Can I buy that for you? Can you buy that for me? I don't think I can buy that for you. I know that you can buy that for I me. Can, I can buy that. But can you like, buy that for me? I already have my favorite card from that. I got the only good one. You can buy that for me. The sure. female trainer. Up here, we got Lucky Stadium, 3.8 million. Tropical Win, 1.4. No dummy cards either, just the real card. That's when, that's when you know that the store means business. They don't use fake cards. They don't care about security. They are the security. Yeah, you better come back when I'm done. Okay, J Love. Sightseer 1.4. Okay. Kind of in the way of some people. No, nope, they're fine. Some more things. But yeah, this, this card's crazy. I want this card so badly, but that is not an attractive price point. 3.8. I'm happy to pay like, I don't know, maybe, maybe 1.5, 1.6 for that. For that uh, lucky stadium. But I don't really want to pay that much. So we got. PSA 10, good luck lilies. That's, it's this card, this store is insane. We got a first edition Charizard. And a Shadowless Blastoise. I mean, it's just only a Shadowless Blastoise. What first edition fucking Charizard? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, we got a Sky Ridge Charizard Reverse. What grading company is that? Oh, that's Grad. G R A A D. 
Oh, that's that's funny. That's actually that's actually so funny. First edition Charizard PSA four, seven hundred thousand yen. So it's around like what seven grand. Oh, mysterious bounds Charizard. And some of these prices are a little bit yesterday's price. Like how do you do? But who cares? It's not a big deal. CTC ten base set Charizard. This is this is a crazy store, man. And I've never even seen it before. I've I've never seen it. So we got some Pokemon section, and I'm probably not going to cut the video soon and let J Love do his thing. He's also in Japan doing some videos. He's doing videos in Japan. It's kind of a beast like that. But he's a proper YouTuber and vlogger. I'm a I'm a I'm a random guy that doesn't know what he's doing. So this is like a Magic the Gathering section, and I'll just cut to the Pokemon section later. But I cannot believe that this store has a creatures deck on display just out there for everyone to see it it's like mind-blowing to me like i there's probably only what 300 400 of those i think for a lot of people in pokemon me included that'll be the only time you'll ever see what that product looks like and now it's sealed so they don't even see you can't see the contents or the cards but that, that, that. let's go to this pokemon section let's see how good are their prices so we got what is that Fifty thousand expedition charizard Someone yelling really loud. I don't know what's going on there. The Umbreon Delta species, 40,000. You know, it's not too bad. It's a lot, but it's not too bad. Lugia Play, 36,000. Ho Play, 17,000. You know, after seeing a lot of these prices in Japan, I feel like I should judge more for something like that. Get the Rowlet Pikachu, 12,000. That's not too bad. Get the Zapdos. Zapdos. <laughs> Rocket Sprite Cow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I keep looking at J-Love. He's going to make it really hard for me to film. He says I shouldn't go so close to the case and I should just zoom in on edits. Okay, I'm not zooming in on any edits. 4,000 yen Umbreon. That's actually not a bad deal. If that is like gem mint potential, that's actually a really good deal. All this Charizard. God. All right, what are we else we doing here? Rockets, Mewtwo. Yeah, I'm just, I'm doing my best at showing these things. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna go back after watching this footage. It's gonna be so shaky and so unwatchable and people are gonna be rewriting. You were the worst, worst vlog person I've ever seen. And I'm just gonna say, okay, well show me how to do it. Let's go back to Japan. I'll pay for your flights. Show me how to do a proper vlog. Right, here's Yu-Gi-Oh. It's kind of what I'm looking for, but they don't have any ghost rares. So the main thing I'm looking for while I'm here is ghost rares. I really like this card though. It's out in, this is from the new set. It's a new set, Unity. And yeah, the quarter century deck. It's been really popular here in Japan. I haven't been able to buy any of it. I, 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 actual, I, that's wrong. I bought seven boxes and I got nothing. So that's that, but I really want to get more. And I want to get some more boxes and I'm having fun opening them. But I'm gonna turn this off and I'm actually gonna spend some money in the store because I feel bad just sitting here filming. So I'm gonna buy some of these Yu Gi Oh cards. I'm gonna look at one or two Pokemon cards. And then me and J Love are gonna go back to the hotel. So hope you guys enjoyed day six. If there's no more videos after this, this is my official day six goodbye. Day seven is gonna be crazy. We're going to Yokohama and then we're going all the way to Osaka and then we're going to Nihonbashi, apparently. Apparently that's what it's called. Nipponbashi, Nipponbashi, Ni Nipponbashi. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I love you all. Hope you're enjoying the video so far because I really hope these turn out good because I'm trying really hard to be a be a vlogger, but I'm not a very good vlogger. All right, I'm gonna buy some of this video. I'll see you guys later. All right, boys. Actually, like last story of the night, I'm in Haruya, and I've been here before, but I didn't really explain it too well. So this is Haruya Two, as you can see by the sign. Haruya Two in Akihabara. This is backwards, so I really hope this comes like. Come. That's funny how I said that. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. So I hope this like you can see the sign properly in this. So this is Haruya 2 in Akihabara. Haruya is probably one of the most long-standing stores in all of Japan. Kind of just sort of magic and everything. And now they do like a pretty good Pokemon selection. But their display cases, as you can see over here, that was a really bad look of me. There's display cases over here. You can see them. They only have played cards 
all like slightly scratched. But this is lottery cards. All these cards in the white sleeves, because they're so cheap, they're fine. But like when it gets a little bit more expensive, they go in yellow sleeves and they're all scratched. And the reason why Haruya puts all only scratched cards on the shelf is because if you go on the computer here, you can, you're signed in as a guest account. You can add these Mews to your card, just like I'm doing. Okay, I forgot to add them to my card, but I had some Yunagaba Pikachus here, 2,400 yen. It's all in Japanese. I actually don't know what to do. Um, I usually just order from my phone. I'm pretty sure if I press this button, it'll order them for me. And I'll have to log in as the shop. Oh, I see what's going on. I wasn't logged in as the shop yet. So log in as the shop, do the capture code. I think it wants me to find bikes. Imagine if I get this right first go. Oh, okay, I'm actually insane. I'm actually insane for that. <laughs> okay, enter. Um, this, order, and then translate to English. Uh, order picked up at the store. Harry, your third floor. Order. Yep. So I want to order some Nim Mint cards that they don't have on the shelf. It's on their website. You just go here, do your order. It took a long time, but we got there eventually. Three minutes of footage. And then 915 is our code. So we go down here, we ran our code in. 915. And then take your piece of paper off. About a hundred people just walked in. So this might not be good, but I'll show you. So we've got 915. We're just going up these stairs. Don't look at that guy. Look at me. Now these stairs are really steep. This is just like unbelievable level of steep. Like I just can't believe this. Like, look at me. what is going on. Japan loves small hallways and steep stairs. So we have to go to this is uh, the second floor, so it's another floor full with cards. If you go all the way up, there's more vintage cards on the second floor, you know, they have like base set, etc. On the third floor, <sighs> they have the pickup shop. So this is it. It's the third floor, in-store pickup. This is the in-store pickup. I'm just going to wait over in this corner. He's finished. Ah, oh, this one here. This. I'm just going to pick up. He's going to think I'm weird for recording this right now, but it is what it is. We have to do this for the video. The long standing thing. So I've given him my ticket, and now he is going to fetch the cards or the order. There's someone working in the back doing the orderings and stuff like that. So I'm guessing it's like a multiple, multiple man band. They have a vending machine here, and then they have a gacha machine. So this is third floor at Harrier, if that makes any sense. Also got a toilet here. I've been to the toilet here once, around four months ago at Worlds, when I really needed to go to the toilet. It wasn't really bad. Had a whole bunch of milk. It was really bad for me. <laughs> I know you guys don't care about that. So I'm, I'm leaving all this footage in unedited to give you an idea of what it looks like to actually order from the shop. So I'm going to try and pay for them. I'm just going to pay for them. I'm not going to check them. I'm going to waste their time. So I'm just going to pay for it while recording myself. And hopefully he doesn't get weirded out about it. So it depends how busy it is. Last time I did this, prices were a lot lower. I came in last year around April, right? I went to, I went to Haruya. This is right before everything started to go crazy. I think I ordered around 200 cards. They had them all ready for me. They forced me to check every single one that I was happy with the condition. I was happy with what they bought, everything like that. And then I bought them. Sorry, I was just, these vending machines, they have like hot coffee and cold coffee in the same vending machine. That's actually crazy that they have cold and hot vending machines, not cold or hot vending machines. They have cold and hot vending machines. So you can get a hot chocolate from a vending machine in Japan. I'm just going to show more of like how rare they have like you know, buying all these VMAXs and special cards and new sets getting released and 
just normal card stock stuff. Nothing too crazy, so yeah. Maybe, maybe I did, did I do this wrong? I feel like I sent my order. Did I do this right? I'm gonna leave this in. Ooh, what am I doing? What do they got around here? There's a, there's a trash can right there. But yeah, so today has been pretty good. Tomorrow we're going to Osaka, and there is, as far as I'm concerned, Osaka is better for card shopping than Tokyo. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Just pay. Mm -hmm. Bye. So yeah, I'm not going to check them. I'm just going to buy them. I'm just going to apologize after the video and explain to them what I was trying to do. <laughs> because this isn't every day where I'm sure they're serving someone. He's just talking to himself in the camera. So I'm going to, after this, obviously, close the camera, pull out my phone, translate, and apologize. Yeah. Put my card in. Hopefully it works. Japanese people are very, very polite when it comes to putting your card in. They always block your pin from being able to be seen. Ah, uh, no bag. It's okay. All right. Awesome. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys tomorrow.